<clears throat> Hello, my name is Mizuki Cruz, and today we're going to be talking about epistasis. Now, the definition given in lecture of epistasis is when alleles at one locus mask or modify the expression of other alleles at other locus. Now, what does this mean? First, we should probably understand what normal dominant and recessive interaction look like. Now for this example, I have stag beetles here because they like stag beetles. And our dominant trait is going to be long mandibles. Uh, short recessive trait is going to be short mandibles. Uh, long legs going to be recessive B and short legs dominant B. So here we have the progeny and under normal circumstances, we're going to get a uh, three, 9, 3, 3, 1 ratio between these guys. So that if everything goes as predicted, it'll just be normal. But what epistasis means is that essentially if our AA gene here modifies the phenotype of the progeny so that long legs cannot be produced so these two would end up combining to make a like larger ratio of short mandibles and short legs uh, <laughs> so it'll just give a alternate sort of expression other than the expected 9331 ratio. And this example here is a uh, recessive, single recessive form of epistasis. Thank you.